What is going on, everybody? This is your boy, man. Up, I'm coming at you with one more video today. Wow. Y'all already heard this story. This ain't nothing new. This is old, of course, about a week or so old. But I just wanted to get my thoughts on this. This is the lady that put Gorilla Glue in her hair because she ran out of the regular hair glue. <sighs> See, this is why a lot of men talk crap about women when it, especially black women, when it comes to their hair, women in general, but mostly black women. This is why you got a lot of guys on YouTube. I'm not going to name any names, but this is why you got a lot of guys on YouTube saying that it must be a disease. It must be something mentally wrong with women and their hair. It all started for me. I started believing this when I saw a woman, if I'm not mistaken, it was in a New Orleans or somewhere in Louisiana, if I'm not mistaken, where this woman used her baby as an umbrella when it was pouring down raining. She put the baby up over her head to try to stop the rain from messing up her hair. You don't believe me? Look, Google it. Woman used baby as an umbrella. You'll see it. Matter of fact, before I'm done with this, I'll show you. Anyway, so, here go pictures of this lady gorilla gluing her hair. You already know people is laughing her dumb at her dumb ass. People is already sitting here like, what was she thinking? See, like I said, this is why men say that y'all women are ridiculous when it comes to your hair. What would possess you to put Gorilla Glue in your hair? You do know Gorilla Glue is made for like metal, wood, brick, cement, you know, stuff like that. It's not made for the skin. It's not made for hair follicles. Now, another thing that got me was this particular picture right here. Them damn eyelashes. See, we say women, y'all are so in tune with how you think you look, how, how you're presenting yourself to the world, that you don't even pay attention to, to, to what it is that you're actually doing. To be honest with you, I see people, I see women all the time they are so worried about their hair. It's like they will spend their rent money on their hair. Money for they, that they have for their kids. Nope, it's going to their hair. It's like the logic that y'all have when it comes to this is just ridiculous. Yeah, this story is old. It's about like a week or so old. Probably longer, but about a week old, but and I wasn't going to do a video on it, but someone very close to me was telling me to do a video, get my thoughts on it, so I said I would, but this is what I be saying all the time, it's like, especially black women, this is why I tell, I say my people have to do better, if you want to take this as a knock on black women, fine, you go right ahead, I don't care, this woman, she even realize how stupid of an idea that was this is why i try to teach my daughter you are beautiful the way you are just take good care of yourself but don't try to do nothing stupid to yourself i'm teaching my daughter stuff like that because i see stuff like this and it makes me just wonder what in the world were you thinking <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you. I have black women on my job right now. I've been working there for about, mm, well, I ain't going to say how long, but for a while. I'll put it like that. I'm not going to disclose how long, but I've been there for a while. You could say it's none of my business. I don't need to know, and you are correct. But it is mind-boggling when you see stuff like this. I've seen black women on my job. They wear these blonde wigs, and then we all know 
Ain't no such thing as a naturally blonde black person. But I have never seen these women re real hair. <laughs> so that's why I say when you watch people on YouTube talking bad about black women, why would you get upset instead of actually paying attention and saying you and, 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 and coming with a logical reason for this or be like, you know what? This is why blah, blah, blah. Or, you know what? He might be telling the truth. But instead, you feel like when there's a man, he's attacking you. But he's not attacking you. He's giving you some sound advice. Yeah, he might be coming off saying something wrong and negative. But if you throw that out the window and think about what it is that you're doing, I bet you you'll change your mindset. I bet you this woman right here will never do nothing like that again. This woman, I give her courage for coming out and admitting this. I give her courage. See, this is why I did a video. Well, I didn't do a video, but I watched a video of someone that, you know, I watch on YouTube a lot. He did, he's, he asked, are white women jealous of black women? And I said, hell no. Because if you go to this picture right here, You'll see this woman right here. She don't. She cool with her her hair looks. See that? But the black woman right here who put gorilla glue on her damn head. Hmm. How come you can't let your hair grow and take care of it like that instead of putting all these chemicals and all this stuff in your head? You rather damage yourself. How come we can't accept how God made us? How come we can't sit here and say, I'm beautiful? See, you want to uplift young girls, but you're doing crap like this. This is not uplifting and telling them that they're beautiful when you're trying to change how you look. You're not accepting everything that comes with your beauty. You're trying to change your beauty. You see what I'm saying? This is stupid. And to be honest with you, while I'm at work, I hear people laughing at her. I hear people talking about this and laughing at her, and they are not black. I'm just going to put it like that. That is, This is ridiculous. That this woman just sit here and thought that it was a good idea because she didn't feel like going to go back and get some more regular hair glue, which I'm against that as well, but whatever. She decided, hmm, I'm going to get Gorilla Glue. Y'all remember when you were kids, you know, like in elementary school, you might have purposely or accidentally glued your fingers together and how difficult it was to unstick just regular Elmer's glue, you know, like your school glue, and your fingers were getting real sticky and you still had this little sticky film on your fingers that, was, that felt kind of weird. So why would you go and get this kind of glue that, whoo, that's not meant to separate? <laughs> Look, man, at the end of the day, all I'm saying is, this lady here, I forgot what her name was, Teresa Brown or something like that. I might be wrong, so I'm not going to say this what really what her name is. But anyway, I just hope that this, this is a wake-up call to all y'all women. But especially black women, because black women we're, is the ones that had this problem. That's why I say all the time, I like my woman natural. If you can't walk out that door being natural, I don't want you. That's just me personally. Because that to me is saying you confident in how you look. You ain't got to put the fake eyelashes on, the fake hair, the fake nails, get the liposuctions, uh, uh, uh. The butt implants or butt in, uh, whatever, butt shots and all that crap. No. If you can't be 100% natural, I don't want you. That's just me personally. That's, and to me, that should be a compliment to y'all women. 
That's what that should be, a compliment. Don't look at that as an insult. That's a compliment. That's saying that you don't have to try to beautify yourself. That's saying that you are beautiful where you is. Yeah, wipe the damn uh, 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 the, uh, the, the eye boogers out your eyes, you know what I'm saying? Get the slob off side of your mouth, you know what I'm saying? Brush your teeth. You know, something normal that, you, that everybody is supposed to do. But you don't have to go through all this extra. How come we can't accept how God made us? I did a video, I think it was yesterday or day before yesterday, one of the two, about Lil Uzi Vert surgically putting a $24 million diamond in his head, in the middle of his forehead. How come we can't accept how God made us? Why is that so difficult for us? But yet, we, we, we want to say how confident and strong-minded we are, but we do stuff like this. But yet we want to say how 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 God has blessed us and we are so independent and we are so so strong and we are so all this, but then you go and do some crazy nonsense like this lady just did. Anyway, this is your boy man up. I'm finna go ahead and chunk this deuce. I holla at you.